The romantic comedy Aloha, starring A-listers Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams, and Emma Stone hits the theaters this weekend, but not without controversy. Native Hawaiians are furious, apparently, claiming that using Aloha in the title disrespects the history and culture of the word, which also means compassion, mercy, and grace. Sony released a statement standing behind the title of the film. It's just one of many little hitches in the release of this one, apparently. Movie writer Mike Scott with NOLA.com. The Times Picayune joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Aloha, I should say. Uh, that, well, <laughs> or, or maybe not, because maybe the, not. because not a lot of lot, not a lot of folks are, uh, are are real happy with this movie, as you as you mentioned. The Native Hawaiians are a little trouble with it. And you, if you look at it, it looks like a great project. Cameron Crowe directs. You know, he gave us Almost Famous. He gave us Jerry Maguire and so many others. Stars Bradley Cooper, who's on an Oscar nomination streak. Emma Stone, Rachel McAdams. Adams. However, the, the critical press is kind of piling on this movie. Apparently, uh, despite all that, that window dressing, this isn't a romantic comedy that works. It's getting universally uh, poor reviews. Uh, some of them are, are middling, but generally middling to poor. Uh, this might be one that you want to skip. Okay, but the next one seems like it might be all right. How does it measure on the Richter scale? San Andreas. <laughs> San Andreas, this is a, what it sounds like. It's an earthquake disaster movie starring Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, which kind of fitting. A guy named The Rock is in a movie about geology, right? Yeah. In this one, though, the, the reviews on this one are that it's fairly formulaic. You kind of know how this is going to play out. We've all seen these disaster movies before, but it fills in the blanks nicely. Not to mention that it's got a nice cast, including The Rock, who is as charismatic as charismatic as they come. So this one, as long as you don't want to do any, uh, you know, heavy mental lifting, this is a, a, a nice little bit of escape for you this weekend. Okay, and then this one sounds pretty cool. Lambert and Stamp. Lambert and Stamp, which should get the award for the worst title, because <laughs> yeah. nobody. I mean, what does that mean? Nobody knows what that means. Only people who know a lot about the rock band The Who know that Lambert and Stamp are Kit Lambert and Chris Stamp. These are the managers of the band. They were actually two filmmakers in England in the 60s who they, they decided what they wanted to do was find an unknown band and make a movie about them. And so they found this band called The High Numbers, changed their name to The Who, started shooting their movie and the rest is history. This is what this ends up being is a really cool history of not just of The Who and from an angle that we're not used to getting, but also it's, it's a, a, a history of the slice of the British invasion. It's also sort of a, a, a history of, you know, of rock and roll when rock and roll was still rock and roll, right? <laughs> That's so right. This, this is the one that I'm recommending folks go see this week. Uh, that should be good. And The Who is just here for Jazz Fest. So there may be some local interest That's in right. as well. And who doesn't like The Who? It's too you, many you who's. confuse me. I know, it's too many who's for us to handle. <laughs> what are you, talk Dr. Seuss? <laughs> right. Let's talk about Filmorama. Filmorama, right? real quick. This is an annual uh, week-long film festival that the New Orleans Film Society puts on with the Britannia Theater. And what they do is they, they, they get all these indie films, uh, documentaries, foreign films that kind of bypass New Orleans for whatever reason, and they, they, they fill a schedule with them for a week. There are 19 of them playing, and there are just so many gems in there that are playing, including... Uh, uh, Manglehorn starring Al Pacino. You've got one, probably the best one, the one that I would recommend the most is Salt of the Earth, a beautiful Oscar nominated documentary. There, there's tons more on the slate. I've, I've got information about all of that, uh, all those films, as well as uh, San Andreas and Aloha and Lambert and Stamp up at NOLA.com. All right, we'll be sure to check that out. Mike Scott giving us uh, his update on some good movies coming out and, this weekend. And some not so good movies. Some good ones <laughs> and not so good. Well put. Well, a guy uses food to make an amazing trick shot. How he did it. Coming up.